Welcome to my shiny, clean, super modern, high-tech design kitchen. This very modern oven started to smell funny, so a new oven was required. And this oven, now 17 years old, is also not working, but I did use it for many years as a microwave, because that was still working. Yes, there is some true sustainability for you there. Keep old things until they're actually broken. Anyway, with a kitchen renovation not planned yet, I present to you the new oven. Of course, I did some research, and this one has a few tricks up its sleeve. When you set it to low power, it actually does continuous low power, where most other microwaves turn on and off with an interval of 10 or maybe more seconds. Also interesting is that the power is coming from the bottom instead of the side, like with most other microwaves. And lastly, this microwave does not have a rotating plate, instead there's a diffuser. And that's what this test is about. To do the test you don't need infrared gear, just two plates of cheese. Let's begin with the 17 year old Sharp microwave. I only have to press start and it starts microwaving for one minute. Nifty. One minute later. Mm -hmm. That looks quite okay. Hot enough to fog up the lens. That's F-O-G. Fog up. Looks like there was more heat on the sides of the plate. If you press start on this new one, nothing happens. If you press it three times, it actually locks itself. So the manual comes in handy here. You have to press stop three times to unlock it. Oh, that's convenient. Anyway, let's set one minute and start. One minute later. Mmm, the cheese has been boiling quite a lot. This seems hotter than the other one. At closer inspection though, the heat dispersion is actually way worse. There's even a bit of cheese that seems not to have molten yet. Let's compare them. Yeah. So overall there seems to have been more heat in the new microwave, but the old microwave seems to have had a little better heat dispersion, but still doesn't look that great. However, this is a complete mess. A part of the cheese has hardly molten, while the other part has completely hardened. Well, there's only one thing left to say then. I am very disappointed! Anyway, let's let that not ruin our appetite, shall we? Let's eat a nice sandwich with molten cheese. Yes, I'm not wasting anything here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. On this lazy channel. Yes. Mm.